So in this uh, little video we're going to do a more advanced method of changing the background color of a cell. Uh, so what I'm going to actually do is um, add a new little table inside here. So an example one. Let's put a little table in here. Let's give it uh, two columns and three rows. And uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, put in uh, a couple of fields inside here. Just, uh, just for this example. So I'll put first name, last name, email, do you have a partner, just, just to create a, a little table over here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put another little control. So this is a, a little trick uh, where I'm going to take a control, a little label, and drop it in here. I'm going to make this label uh, not visible. I'm going to call it uh, set, set background. Okay, so my label, little label is going to be called set background. Then what I'm going to do as well is go and add, sorry, wrong one. Let's give that a data label, just in there. I'm going to call it set, set background. All right. I'm going to make it a literal, and I'm also going to give it an expression. All right. So in the expression, I'm going to call it set background as expression name and my expression is going to be just some JavaScript. So I'm going to say script oops and let me get notepad up here just to show you the script. So it's going to be script some script inside there and so close the script. And what the script's going to do is it's going to find the label that we called called set background. So that's going to find that little label, set background label, it's going to find the table that it's in, and it's going to change the background to the sort of gray, uh, give it a border of a gray, and give it a background color of whatever that is. So that could be anything. All right, so let's copy that. Okay, just put that inside there. And OK, and OK, save, finish, and let's go and run that view. Here we go. So you can see that script's run. It's made this the sort of light gray background uh, that's that's taking place inside there. And of course, you can still go back to that thing and obviously go and uh, make some adjustments. Uh, and obviously, that script that's running that's running in this little set background uh, little script over here. You can still make it go and load those values uh, from maybe another control to make this a little bit more dynamic. So just to make a small change here. I'm going to change this thing to blue. Save that. Let's refresh that again. And I've got a little bit of a blue background. So just a uh, um, just a little uh, injection of some jQuery to to, to make K2 do something that uh, that it's not able to do out of the box, but you could still go and use uh, jQuery and extend it until K2 brings out uh, the functionality to go and set the background color of these tables, uh, which is uh, in, in, in as a feature request.